Apex Conquest. I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about this. In my last video that I went over a bunch of games I did, I'll put it at the end of this video if you want to check it out, I did mention I'm taking a break from Apex Conquest because I'm losing a lot. And there was a lot of stuff I didn't cover in the initial review of the game that I didn't notice on the white paper. So in this video, I just want to go through and talk about why that was probably a mistake and why I should have still kept playing and why I'm going to start playing again. With that said, let's go ahead and hit the computer and I can go ahead and let you know what's going on. Welcome everybody, my name is Kevin Smack and I am not a financial advisor. Just want to let you know that and kind of get into this. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something that has been brought to my attention by my Discord and I want to go ahead and let you know. Quick shout out for Fuego for going through and letting me know about this. He's a mod in our community and he is extremely helpful. Thank you so much for doing this detailed information and letting me know more about how this game works so I can go ahead and continue to play. One of the main things is your hero here actually does level up and they did actually add a win probability here I see as well. And as you are playing, your hero gets more XP. As you get that XP, you will win more. So you're gonna be really bad in the beginning unless you pay more for higher level troops. At that point, it may not be worth paying more for the higher level troops because you're gonna also get XP even when you lose. So maybe hold on to the higher level troops and just kind of go through this losing spree until eventually you level up and you can start winning with lower level armies because that should happen the more XP you have. Right now, in August, they are double XP days and then they're going to have more in the future especially for a series one so I did miss out a lot and it was a big mistake I should have continued to investigate this it's just sometimes it's hard for me because I have so many different games I play and little things like this can slip through the tr cracks so I want to go ahead and let you know why if you are losing a lot in Apex Conquest why you are so as you build up your XP, you will win more and eventually you will be crushing it. This is a very good game because you will get to go through and swap tokens. So if you have a token that you don't want and you have another one that you want on the list, you can go through and play on here. Like currently, you know, Brawl, I'm not really using much. So what I'll do is I'll take Brawl. I'll buy stuff with it, and then when I'm going through and cashing out, I'll take FGL. That way I'm getting FGL for Mecha World, and I can go ahead and level up my mechs. So it's really cool, and they keep adding more tokens. These are all the ones that are available as of now, just so you can see. And we're going to go ahead and get this game going again. So we need to go ahead and build up our troops here. I don't know how many we're missing. I need three, so we're going to need to buy a pack. I do know they have the larger one, troop size, four troops, 20 troops. So I usually do the four and I don't know if I'll have enough to do the other. Let's see if we have enough brawl in our account to buy one. Nope, we're gonna need to log in and do that. I'll get more out. Okay, we got enough to go ahead and grab a big pack. We're gonna do that. There we go. We got the 20 pack. That way I don't have to keep buying the packs because when I notice it when it's on a smaller scale, it kind of drives me crazy because I got to basically buy a pack all the time. So now we got the pack. Let's go ahead and open it here and let's hope we get some good stuff. All right, we got our claim. Let's check our inventory and see what we got here. We got three pikemen. Nice. Six archers, two scouts, nine infantry. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and do the route of spamming infantry and kind of using the low level decks and slowly build up my XP that way. So let's go into our deck. We only have one here. We're gonna go ahead and add more troops and we're just gonna do infantry and we're gonna just use them and then we're gonna level up a bit. And as we level up a bit, then our better troops will come out and then we'll do it that way. But we'll leave the rest that are here. So eventually from the reading of Fuego, basically he says, eventually as you level up, you'll have such a high percentage of winning that you'll be able to use like horse carrots 
and just use 10 of them to go through and take the token. So very interesting to know. Let's go ahead and stake now. Then we're gonna go ahead and attack. Troops added. Win probability 44%. I like that they added that because that wasn't there when I was battling. So we're gonna go ahead and battle and we're gonna look for our area. So if you are doing this just for the wax, I would click battle and look at the wax amount. So this is 4.3, this is 4.3, this is 4.8. So if you're doing it just for the wax, you can go ahead and battle this, take it and sell it right away and get the highest amount. I like doing FGL because I need it. And it's usually one of the higher ones with wax, not at this exact moment, but let's go ahead and do that. We'll battle, we're ready. And this is gonna be the last one. I feel like we're gonna need an accommodation. You've entered the dark gates. Good luck. Hit refresh. All right. So it shows we won. We lost zero troops and we won 129 FGL. Sweet. So that's going to help out there. And you can also favorite these. I'm going to just favorite them. Actually, I don't have to because the next two are right next to it. All right. Awesome. So next we would need accommodation and we would just go to buy pack. You can buy with tokens. Let's see if I have enough. I do not, and we'll buy it here. Great, got it claimed and we are good. So now we'll be able to go ahead and continue to battle and build up our commander and get him leveled up or her actually. 45% uh, win probability. So the XP has went up a bit because it was 44 before the last battle. We can also recharge because we have this and we'll go ahead and choose recharge. That way we are all set and ready to go for the next seven battles. And we have plenty of troops for this week. And I'll continue to play and see if this goes through. I also notice there is a claim commander avatar. And basically it gave me another deck, which is sweet. Now I have the commander and the commander avatar. So I can go ahead and fight more than once. And we got this up to 45%. So we can go ahead and choose battle. And let's go ahead and get some more of those FGL tokens. But now I have another deck, which is pretty awesome. I just want to let you know that in case anyone missed it here. We're going to go ahead and battle and see if we could win this one. And we have been successful. We'll give it a moment till we refresh and see what we got. Also, remember with your commander, he does get XP. And that XP does transfer out. So if you ever sell your commander, that XP is already on there. We'll refresh and it does show we lost, but we lost zero troops. So no big deal. We'll check that one back tomorrow and try again. We don't have to worry about the troops because we lost zero. This is going to be really nice as they add more tokens because you'll definitely be able to move one token from one spot to the other spot and vice versa. So if a token goes down and you want to just kind of swap it out, or you don't want it to crash or anything like that, you can definitely do that. If you're interested more on this, check out our Discord. You can see here, Fuego went into big detail helping people out and explaining the numbers, and he did a great job. So that really talked me into going back to the game because he knows what he's talking about when he's researching these. And we have lots of cool people like this in our Discord, so why don't you join and become one of them? So thanks again, Fuego, for the feedback and helping me have a video for today. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you're playing. Are you experiencing loss? Did you stop playing? Are you going to start playing again? Or have you been playing since the start? Let me know down below. I would love to know. And thanks so much for the view.